The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Past. Destroy that body while I'm still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. Damit auch zurück. Tales from the Borderlands. <coughs> das war mal eins, gell? Obwohl, vielleicht geht's ihm doch. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar. But I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. <sighs> I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Going on three. One. Was macht der da? What the hell was that? I don't know. We need your shower. Get to the shelter. What's that? Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <gasps> hey! Oh my Stop it! Please! 
Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gornis, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well... That's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you <laughs> now? Of course. I don't believe Gordas had answered for you. Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. That's what... Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you. So she had everything to do with this. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? Um... And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is... Yes. Hell no. There's no way we're working for you. a girl. Sorry. I think I must have misheard you. Come again. Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No. I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. Stop. Yes, whatever you want. Please, just, just leave her alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, you shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. What's this yeah. stuff? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. Come on, the hell I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. Hey, we'll, come on, come on. We'll Just find a rocket everyone booster. calm down, okay? I'm loving... Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordas's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we How's can make some How's your tum-tum there, progress? buddy? That'll teach you to hit the taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna <sighs> Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should mm -hmm. bottle the stuff. Mm -hmm. Call it weak sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on I could use your help. Yeah, so of course you fault? could. I'm not the one Is that a yes or no? Suicide. What, Just you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Great, real helpful. I honestly don't know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. 
The reality All right, is I that know we we've had our differences, and I'll, I'll, I'll admit I can get pretty grouchy when I don't get I my own way. But try coming up to maximize our chances, okay, here's I'm one. ready to bury We don't go. All right. You know we can't it's a metaphorical hatchet, Fine. especially yeah, because I know I don't really have any hands right I now. But I know oh, oh, it's just a real bitch, I tell you what. Yeah, I got a place to bury the hatchet. Ah, you're gonna say up your ass, aren't ya? Too late. Live in your shittiness. Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man. How many people... Um... I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship. Obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have lift off. Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. It's off. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. Als ob, als ob, komm, das wird niemals so funktionieren. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. Um. And for the grand finale, I'll digestruct a vast skies. Discuss. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell them, Princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. 
Don't do it. You'll nice only make things off. way worse. Okay, team. Um, prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> and some jackets in my head. God, but damn it! Did you just just allow me to explain? Okay. When I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool. It's cool. I've, I've got everything under control. <laughs> kind of. What? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? You asshole. Oh. And we thought August was a prick. <laughs> okay. Ouch. If Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. Anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's mm -hmm. clever. So wait, when you fell off that balcony back there, that was Jack? <sighs> and here I thought of you Mine. as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but, uh, I told you so. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess! I'm sorry, all right? I should have mentioned it earlier. Yeah, you think? What is wrong with you? I get it. I messed up. Let's just say for argument's sake that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. So far, so good, I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again, how can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us Nein! from here on out. This might sound nuts, but... Ich hatte kaum Wahl. He doesn't have the power to hurt us, even if he wanted to. If who wanted to what? All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off the hollow. Der kontrolliert mich ja teilweise mit der Zeit meiner Arm kontrollieren können. Let's get to work. Ach man, ich, ich hatte nur eine Sekunde Zeit. Was soll das? Ich konnte nur nicht mal eine dritte lesen. Beschiss. Spiel. August. Watch Gordas. I'll miss you. Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this thing. <gasps> but I like you so much. Aber ich mag dich doch so was. Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Cause he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Safford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Oh, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I mean Schwindel. It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the I race? Does. I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing's just in your veins. It's all... I'm saying, I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on. <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with the tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Um... Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's it, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, would one of you like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can I can shut mine? Scooter, we are going to space. What? I love space. It's like my fourth favorite thing, behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Stimmt, das mit den Rennen war ja gelogen. Also total nicht auf dem Schirm. Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, 
I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Springs. Athena's feste Freundin. Oh, oh. Ich hab's gleich gewusst, wo ich sie gesehen habe. She's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Jamie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. Oh. Janie, I'm sorry about Athena, but we'd really like your help. Well, I'd like my girlfriend back. Looks to be a rough day for everybody. She lied to me, said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? Um... I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to know one last thing. And then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they uh... took her? The way she acted... Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh... Goodness. Okay. Oh... Wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. <laughs> I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. But you've already done. Deal. Okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Woo! Up top, space buddy! <sighs> hey, I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. Fine. <laughs> 